okay, we were, we've been mostly talking about what happens, uh, what do you do when x goes from a constant to a constant, and then y goes from a function of x to another function of x, but we could switch the roles. What if we have, what if we want to look at different kinds of regions and have the integrals have dy at the end instead of dx at the end? Well, then y has to go from constant to constant. So in this picture, y goes from c to d, those constants, and then x is between h sub 1 of y and h sub 2 of y. Right, so then, yeah, we can do the same kind of thing. It's just switching the role of x and y, really. So y is between two constants, c and d. x is between two functions of y, h sub 1 of y and h sub 2 of y. So again, we can compute a double integral of the function f over the region d. Um, it's just now the, the outermost integral, the final integral done, has to be the one that has constants on it. So c and d, you'll notice here, are the ones on the outside. And d, d, this integral has to end dy. Up to now, uh, so far we've looked at integrals that, that have dy dx. This is now a dx dy. OK, so you know, when do we do this? Bef versus what we just did before, you should really try to ask yourself, if you look at the, the region capital D, and more, more importantly, if you look at the boundary, um, what's going on? You know, is x a function of y, or is y a function of x? And that is what you need to address to figure out if you need to set up the type of integrals that we've done so far, or the type of integral we're about to practice. So let's set up the integral of f of x comma y equals x squared plus x times y cubed on the region D, where D is enclosed by uh, x equals y squared minus 6y plus 7, and x equals 2. Now, um, the first thing, you know, x equals y squared minus 6y plus 7, that's a parabola that's sideways, right? And x equals 2 is a vertical line. So let's just grab a picture of this. Here we go. There's that sideways parabola. There's a line. Um, the, the vertical line, x equals 2, those are the bigger x values compared to over here, right? Like over here, all along this parabola, the x values, like even right there, one point. Uh, you know, 1.1 or 1.2, that's smaller than x equals 2. So the bigger x values are on the blue line. The smaller x values, at least for the region enclosed here, um, are, are on this parabola. Okay, so, um, oh, also, let's just just point out that the, the constants y, you know, y ranges between 1 and 5. And again, we could do this using algebra, setting the x is equal and solving for y. But let's just use the graphing calculator for a moment. Yeah, y equals 1, y equals 5. Okay, so we've got a, uh, the endpoints of integration um, for, the, for the dy should be uh, y equals 1 and y equals 5. And yeah, and I just kind of mentioned here that you could do this doing, doing some algebra, right? Um, and then uh, the dx... So x has to range from, well, the function, right, to the constant function, too. Because the values of y squared minus 6y plus 7, those were the smaller x values. OK, so this is the setup. Yeah, I hope this looks OK. Uh, y ranges from 1 to 5 and has to be the outer integral. The constant should always be on the outer integral. Interactive question, what would be the first step in computing this integral? Just say in your own words, what would be the first step?